For decades, scientists believed the moon's magnetic field faded into obscurity billions of years ago, a cosmic relic of its fiery past. But stunning new evidence from China's Chang'e 6 mission is rewriting that story. Hidden within ancient rocks from the moon's far side lies proof of a surprising magnetic revival 2.8 billion years ago, long after it was thought to have weakened forever. This breakthrough challenges everything we thought we knew about the moon's evolution and its mysterious dynamo. What caused this magnetic comeback? And why does it matter? Let's uncover the secrets of this astonishing discovery together. China's Chang'e 6 mission has achieved what no other lunar mission has before it brought back samples from the moon's far side, an area perpetually hidden from Earth. This groundbreaking feat was accomplished in June 2024, when the probe returned with 1,935.3 grams of lunar soil and rock. These samples were taken from a region that had never been explored, offering scientists an unprecedented look at the moon's less understood hemisphere. Why the far side? Unlike the familiar near side, the far side has vastly different terrain and a unique geological history. Shielded from Earth's magnetic influences, this area serves as a pristine environment for studying the moon's natural history. The Chang'e 6 mission targeted this region specifically to fill critical gaps in our understanding of the moon's magnetic and geological evolution. The mission's goals extended beyond simple sample collection. By retrieving millimeter-sized basalt fragments from the far side, researchers aimed to investigate the moon's ancient magnetic field, volcanic activity, and overall thermal history. Previous missions, like Apollo, provided valuable data about the near side, but they left unanswered questions about the moon's far side and its magnetic evolution during the period after three billion years ago. In addition to its scientific objectives, Chang'e 6 represents a technical marvel. The mission involved navigating the complexities of the moon's far side, which requires relaying signals via a satellite since direct communication with Earth is impossible. This accomplishment underscores the technological advancements that make such ambitious exploration possible. The significance of this mission is already evident in the groundbreaking discoveries it has enabled. Among these are revelations about the Moon's volcanic history, with evidence of eruptions 2.8 and 4.2 billion years ago, and insights into its paleomagnetic data. These findings not only enhance our understanding of the Moon's evolution, but also lay the groundwork for future exploration. Chang'e 6 is not just a triumph for China's space program, but a milestone for global lunar science. It has opened the door to a new era of exploration and discovery, making it possible to answer questions that have lingered for decades. For years, scientists believed the moon's magnetic field steadily declined around 3.1 billion years ago and remained weak until it vanished entirely about 1 billion years ago. But the Chang'e 6 samples have revealed an astonishing twist in this narrative, a resurgence of the magnetic field 2.8 billion years ago. This revelation came from analyzing basalt fragments brought back from the moon's far side. These rocks, formed billions of years ago, act as natural time capsules, preserving records of the magnetic field present when they solidified. Using advanced techniques, researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences uncovered evidence of a much stronger magnetic field during that time than previously thought possible. The resurgence raises profound questions. What could have reactivated the moon's dynamo, the mechanism generating its magnetic field? Scientists hypothesize that the shift might be linked to changes in the moon's internal energy sources or alterations in the flow of heat within its core. The exact cause remains a mystery but this finding suggests the Moon's interior was more dynamic than earlier models predicted. The implications of this discovery extend far beyond the Moon itself. A magnetic field plays a crucial role in shaping a celestial body's environment. On Earth, for instance, the magnetic field shields us from harmful cosmic radiation and helps maintain our atmosphere. While the Moon's field wasn't strong enough to support an Earth-like atmosphere, its resurgence indicates it might have influenced surface conditions and contributed to volcanic activity during that era. What makes this finding even more exciting is its location. Until now, most paleomagnetic data came from samples on the near side, limiting our understanding of the Moon's magnetic history. 
The Chang'e 6 samples represent the first ever paleomagnetic measurements from the far side, offering a fresh perspective on lunar evolution and filling a billion-year gap in the paleomagnetic record. This discovery also has broader implications for planetary science. By comparing the Moon's magnetic history to Earth's, scientists can explore why some planetary magnetic fields persist while others fade. The findings from Chang E6 go far beyond lunar science, touching on fundamental questions about planetary evolution and habitability. At the heart of this discovery is the Moon's dynamo, the process by which its core once generated a magnetic field. Understanding this mechanism is crucial for unraveling the thermal and structural history of not just the Moon but other celestial bodies as well. A magnetic field requires a liquid, convecting core to exist. The evidence of a rebound 2.8 billion years ago suggests that the Moon's core wasn't entirely dormant as previously believed. Instead, something reactivated its dynamo, at least temporarily. This might have been caused by a change in heat flow from the mantle, or even a reinvigoration of the core's driving forces. Such activity hints at a more complex and dynamic interior than current models account for, raising questions about the Moon's geological processes during that period. These insights into the Moon's thermal evolution are also invaluable for understanding Earth's magnetic field. Unlike the Moon's, Earth's magnetic field has remained relatively stable for billions of years, protecting our planet from harmful cosmic radiation and enabling life to thrive. By comparing the two, scientists can better understand why some planetary magnetic fields persist while others vanish, shedding light on the conditions required for long-term planetary stability. Beyond planetary magnetism, the discovery also informs our understanding of volcanic activity. The Chang'e 6 mission revealed evidence of ancient volcanic eruptions on the far side of the moon. These eruptions, occurring 2.8 and 4.2 billion years ago, may have played a role in influencing the magnetic field's behavior. This connection between volcanic activity and magnetic field dynamics offers a new avenue for exploring how internal, internal and surface processes interact on planetary bodies. These findings also have practical implications for future exploration. The Moon serves as a natural laboratory for studying planetary evolution, offering a close-up view of processes that could be occurring on distant exoplanets. The Chang'e 6 mission has done more than bring back lunar samples. It's brought us closer to understanding the Moon's dynamic history. From uncovering a surprising rebound in the magnetic field to shedding light on volcanic activity, this mission has rewritten the story of our closest celestial neighbor. These findings remind us that the Moon is far more than a static, lifeless body. It's a key to unlocking the secrets of planetary evolution, helping us understand not only its past, but also the processes shaping other worlds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, www.spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.